Hello, my dear bird lovers. In today's video, learn or determine your knowledge of body language in budgies. Budgies communicate with us vocally and through body language. Communication with your bird will become better if you learn the behavior and vocalizations of your bird. To learn this, you need to watch your bird carefully and spend a lot of time in her company. You must pay attention to your bird's behavior if you want to understand his mood. A budgie may fluff up his feathers and raise his wings as a sign that he wants to be picked up. He may flap his wings as a way of getting your attention or shake his tail as a sign that he is excited. Yawning like other animals, birds yawn when they are sleepy. In budgies, yawning can serve as a thermoregulatory behavior. The birds yawn more frequently in warmer conditions. Opening her mouth When it's hot, birds are also trying to keep their cool with opening her mouth. An open mouth can be a sign of stress. While the bird may appear very calm, this is often a survival response and the bird is probably very stressed. Some species can die simple from stress alone. A stressed bird will have her mouth open and be panting. Crop adjusting When bird open their big wide, he's probably fine. He's doing something known as crop adjusting, where birds will open their beaks wide and stretch out their necks or shake their heads repeatedly. It kind of looks like a yawn, but with an added neck extension. Tail bobbing or fanning a little tail shake indicates a healthy, happy little bird going about her daily routine. A super small tail bob helps them keep their balance. Birds bob their tails because they help them steer a maneuver while flying, as well as provide stability as they take off and land. By twisting her tail, the bird can change her direction mid-flight. The tail also helps the bird balance when she is on a branch. But when it's a super big bob, that something is wrong. If a bird is having trouble breathing, the tail muscles work harder, causing the tail to bob up and down. Tail bobbing is often not noticeable until later, more serious stage of illness. So, if you see your bird behaving in this manner, call the vet immediately. Stretching Your bird does that when you come near the cage because they think they are coming out and are getting ready for a moment. Like any animal, budgies need a good stretch after a long period of inactivity, especially after sleeping. They stretch leg and wing on one side, then the other, and at the end they will raise both wings. Sleeping Budgies usually tuck their bills behind their wings and stand on one leg while they sleeping. Budgies need darkness to sleep. Flashlight and darkness shows a budgie that it is time to go to sleep. Budgies are not able to fall asleep properly without darkness. Shaking feathers Budgies sometimes puff up and shake their feathers in order to straighten them out after preening to get rid of dirt and bits of dead skin, or rather after a bath or a sign of mood change. 
A body may puff up for a few seconds when they get happy or excited. They can also expand when they get rid of the fear of something, like afraid of touching their cages or maybe afraid predators in the home, such as a cat or a dog. The most common reason for shaking is to relieve tension and stress, like when the bird is new or does not yet trust her owner. When Budgie puffed up feather They might puff up themselves while playing with toys in their cages. If Budgies find themselves feeling a little cold, they'll puff up their feathers. If he's excited or trying to show off to another budgie or person, they may puff up their feather as well. Another reason why your budgie might be puffing up its feathers is because of sickness. Usually, this behavior is accompanied by other subtle signs and symptoms. Scratching Budgies scratch like all animals. They can scratch any part of their bodies, either with their legs or their beaks, except their head. A budgie who scratches a lot may suffer from an infection by the parasites or some other infection. Parrots scratch more often during the moulting season. Preening Preening removes dust and dirt from your bird's feathers. The bird will often touch a oil gland at the base of his tail, called the urophigial, with his beak. He picks up oil, which the gland secretes and spreads it all over his body and his legs. This oil keeps his feet moister, elastic, and makes his feathers waterproof. Nibbling feet Birds do this all the time and it is usually not something to worry about. It keeps the feet moister and elastic. It is also massage the feet. But if he is nibbling on it so often that it turns red or has scales, you must take him to wet. Eye pining If the bird is relaxed and her eyes are pining, it usually means the bird is curious or interested in something in her environment. It is also a warning signal to not come any closer, otherwise he will bite. Pupil dilation Pupil dilation means many things, but the mode the signs it is one the stages I am very excited. Along with this, many birds running back and forth on the perch rapidly when they see their owners or their friends' budgies. It means that budgie is happy, like when you talk to her or she is near to her toys or other budgie. Flying It is the primary way birds exercise especially in the morning after just waking up. Budgies do this by flapping their wings while hanging onto a perch flying in place. It's part of a morning routine to get the blood flowing and is usually done right after scratching. Birds should be left out of their cage at least an hour a day. Climbing it's normal behavior of budgie. Budgies like to climb on toys. They perch on it and climb around. They like to walk on toys made of rope or wood. Sometimes the bird was born stressed at one point or another and it therefore climbed her cage. Carship Birds do many things to show that they care about another bird. This includes feeding and mutual preening. 
Most birds have their own mating dances. Budgies bob their head, side step on the perch very rapidly, pluff their feathers up, and tap his partner's beak. Usual cooling down stance. Birds cannot sweat and so depend on air to reach the underside of the wings to cool down. When overheated, they will be seen holding their wings away from their body. The harder they are, the further away from their body. With this, birds will also try to keep their cool with opening her mouth. Beak grinding Beak grinding is the most obvious sign of a happy bird. Birds usually do this before they fall asleep. It means that bird is contented in your presence. If the bird stand on on one leg and grind his beak, he is relaxed, bored or ready to go to sleep. Cooked head Birds cook their head to produce a sharper image of whatever they're looking. When they do this, it usually means they are curious about something. Aggression Aggression stands of Baji have flattened plumage, raised body, cooked head with one leg on the opponent's chest. They try to intimidate the opponent by seeming looking taller. Defensive or warning stance is usually accompanied by an open beak. Baji moulting Moulting is part of the body's yearly cycle and involves the gradual replacement of all the feathers. A baji should never have bald patches during this time. If it does, it may be a sign of disease or stress. The new feathers first appear as white, sharp stubs, known as pin feathers. Budgies are known like very intelligent and emotional creatures. It is very important to understand their moods and behaviors so that you can have a better relationship with your friend. If Budgie sits at the bottom of his cage with puffed up feathers, it's time to take your birds to wet. Heavy breathing, sneezing and temperament changes are all also signs that something isn't right with your Budgie. Birds often don't show symptoms until the last minute when they are very sick, so it's best to get your bird checked out as soon as you see that something is wrong. The body language of bird is very wide and in this video I have tried to explain some basic ones to you. I hope I succeeded. Check out more bird videos in the proposal. Don't forget to follow us on the links in the video description. Stay healthy and happy until my next video.